Our robot broke a couple times. Uh, I almost cried when we won. I can't believe we made it this far. God really blessed us by letting us make it this far. I am I'm so excited. This is our first time on Einstein. We've got champs. I'm just like, all the hard work that we paid off is, is just amazing. Last time we won championships was 2005. And I'm so happy to be here. when the world sees and all agrees at first is a sport that not only educates but inspires and gets kids to be the problem solvers of tomorrow starting today. Thank you. Is there anything else you need from this guy? This stadium is the most important place to be in right now today. Because you have people from Israel, you have people from Palestine here and Mexico and Brazil. You have people from China, you have people from South America. It is an amazing place where the world come together for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's excellence around science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the arts, and robotics. And first, thank you guys so much for all the work that you do, that we do. Before I joined this team and worked with these mentors, um, I had no idea how to build a robot, but now I'm proud to say that I can use power tools, I can uh, come up with design ideas by myself, and I'm actually going to be an engineer in college next year. First, to me, means finding really creative ways to solve problems, because a lot of the time, building your robot is easier than finding the right robot to build.
it's just an amazing experience to be here, and I think that's the celebration itself. We had to create our own idea, so we designed this ourselves, and we also had to come up with our own solution. So it taught us, you know, that not everything's going to be laid out for us, and that sometimes you have to do things yourself. Thinking how to do things like these, like our fantastic robot, or our wonderful scientific project, will help us on the future, because uh, everyone has to evolve, and the world has to evolve, and we, we need innovation for that. What are you most excited about? Just being here. We believe that if you can show kids that the tools of mathematics and engineering empower them to do some really cool, really fun things, they'll get passionate about it. And frankly, some kids don't learn very well in a classroom uh, by the book. But they do really well when you give them an open-ended problem and you ask them to apply their imagination with some tools of engineering, and then they realize, for the first time in many cases, they need those tools. So I think FIRST programs give kids a whole host of skills that will help them succeed when they're ready to go on and move into the, into the workforce. Uh, of course, there's the science and math and engineering skills, uh, but there's also what I'll call the softer skills, the leadership, the communication, the critical thinking, the real world problem solving. And from my own experience, I know it's people that can actually bring those together that are your most valuable employees, the people who not only know the science and math, but can apply that to real world settings and solutions and do it in, you know, as part of a team and respect other people's ideas and build upon each other's ideas. So all of those types of skills kids develop in FIRST programs, and it makes them incredibly attractive to future employers. Kids that have been through FIRST have what I call rational self-esteem. They know that they can do new things with other people, new technologically savvy things with other people, because they've done it. So they're in a position to look at a problem, develop a solution, and get on with it.